Alright, what's up everybody, and welcome back to Batman Arkham City. This is episode 4, I believe, but where we left off, Joker kind of fooled us. He said he was sick, and then he, he wasn't really, but then he was. And there was, a, he, we thought he died, but then he didn't, so. Now he poisoned us, and he also poisoned God. So we gotta go talk to Mr. Freeze to get the cure, or we already did that. So now we gotta go get Penguin, because Penguin has Freeze. Kind of forgot where we left off, but we're gonna go ahead and attack these guys here because there was a beacon here or something. Is he something? Yeah, but my my mechanics are a little bit thrown off because I've been I've been playing the uh, the Amazing Spider-Man for the past couple days, which is a fun game. I mean, it's it's like all of the superhero games that were made after Arkham Asylum came came out are just basically games that copy. The Arkham games because they perfected the superhero game formula pretty much, or at least the combat system and all that with with free flow. So, been playing that over the past couple of days. So, it's basically like this game, the gang war but Spider-Man. Penguin started destroying bridges to pin down Joker's crew. Good heavens! I hope you haven't let this get in the way of finding the cure. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of its importance. I'm on my way to the museum now. It's Penguin's base in Arkham City. Yeah, I'm not trying to die, so. But we, we're, we're gonna go ahead and check out this distress beacon real quick. Hello there. Are you surprised to see me, Batman? A little. Last time I saw you, you were wrapped around the hood of my car. You knew it would not kill me. I wasn't trying to. I'm in no mood for a fight. What are you doing here? Dr. Young's Titan formula. The Payaso managed to send some off Arkham Island before you stopped him. How much more did Joker manage to get off the island? Too much. That is why I am here. I will not allow the Basura of this city to abuse the Titan. Dr. Young used me to create it. It is my duty to destroy what remains. I'll help you, but understand this. If you try anything, I'm taking you down too. We find Titan containers, we destroy them. Deal? <laughs> of course. Each container has a radio beacon built in. There were 12 containers left in this city. We take six each, then we meet back here. Six each? Fine. Today isn't a good day to lie to me, Bane. Remember that. Yeah, well, there's something. Alright, so there's the Titan containers. Titan, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a chemical from the first game, Arkham Asylum, which obviously, if you want to know more, you can go watch my Arkham Asylum walkthrough. Uh, it's basically, it's something that, that this lady named Dr. Young created. Uh... For the Joker in Arkham Asylum after she was threatened and it's basically it's like this thing that's designed after or it, it's like it's sort of like the venom that Bane uses I'm sure you guys know uh, that Bane has that thing the like the venom chemical that makes him super strong but uh, yeah, it's sort of it's it's basically like a stronger version of that and that's the Riddler side mission. We don't need to do that right now. But uh, it's a stronger version of Venom that that was made for Joker to try to create an army of Banes, basically. But it turned out to be like super toxic and like messes people up. So. But we're we're making our way over to Penguin's Museum right now. Yeah. Again, there's the cool part of uh, listening in to all the criminals in here. This is the entrance to the museum. We need to get down here. Texture issues, huh? Okay. Okay, well, I'm a little rusty. We'll leave it at that. Let's turn 
finish it around. Alright, well, those guys got bodied. Nice. Alright. My contacts are drying out. This shit sucks. And cryptographic sequence our way in here. How about that? Loading screens. Come on, man. The little bat in the bottom right is frozen. There we this go. This is Penguin's turf, you freak. I'm gonna cut you up into tiny pieces for breaking in here. Or, alternatively, I break your face. Dude, I love being Batman. Holy shit, God, I'm talented. Alright, well, that was easy. Break windows for no reason. God, I love it. I don't think I want you breaking into my little old Batman. Something's blocking communication back to the Batcave. Penguin must be using military-grade communication disruptors. The only way to crack this security is to destroy them. Oh boy. Alright, let's go take care of these jammers then, huh? Get another obstacle. Why is everything so hard in this game, dude? Shit's annoying. Now I gotta go beat up a bunch of guys. Gotta go break a bunch of bones. Five nudes. All Count me in. What's up, fellas? I am the goddamn Batman. Speaking of, I watched Batman and Batman Returns the other day, which for those of you who don't know, okay, well, that was a great way to lose my combo. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, are uh, the movies from 89 and 92, respectively, respectfully, ri ri what's the word, dude, I'm actually brain dead after, wait, what's the, respectively, right, that's the word, right, yeah, 89 and 92, I think, they were the ones with Michael Keaton, who, fun fact, is now the main villain in Spider-Man Homecoming, which, side note, I'm also super excited for that movie, but, one jammer. uh, they were the the more comic-y live-action Batman movies that came out back then. And I watched those the other day, and it was a lot of fun. It's a little bit weird. Danny DeVito made kind of a weird penguin. Doesn't mean I didn't like it, but it was a little bit weird. Which way am I going? Am I going this way? No, I'm going this way. Well, obviously it's working. No, don't make me do that. Okay, good. Oh, I'm literally flying right over it. The entire site is radio secure. Nice. Where does Cobblepot get military grade kit like this from? He's a collector. He's got things you've never touched. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Oh, they see me. Oh. Goodbye. That sucks. I didn't want them to see me. All right, you know what? I still have my smoke pellet. All right, you know what? Let's let's just get. Damn it, he jumped up. I was gonna go for the triple kill. Ground takedown. Come on. Too late. Knock that bitch out. All right. Here's another one. Somebody's getting beat up. Okay. Well, after... Alright, we're taking on this one, and we're gonna go find that guy who's getting beat up. Because that doesn't sound very pleasant. Batman's done something to the jammers up top. Where are the rest of you idiots? We've only just managed to get below ground. Just send it up wherever you are. Do it now. Batman's probably on his way down there. Understand? Yes, sir, Mr. Don't Cobblepot. mess with people. 
Sounds like Here you go, political prisoner. Was activated somewhere on the, City. the reason those are political prisoners, for those of you that probably aren't aware, Hugo Strange is like insanely corrupt. And obviously Hugo Strange is the, uh, is the bearded guy with the Harry Potter glasses that we met in the beginning who actually knows who we are. But he's like insanely corrupt and whenever there's anybody... Holy helicopter! Okay, that guy came out of nowhere. Yeah, insanely corrupt and whenever somebody opposes him politically, he just has him thrown in here because it's easier to get rid of people like that. Still trying to screw with Batman. Every time Penguin powers up those things, my cell stops working. It blocks all communication. Why are you still talking? As if nothing's going. Oh. I see a Titan container over here, but we're gonna sneak around this floor real quick. All right. There's a camera for us to take out. Which is like cameras and balloons and all those things in this game are like the equivalent of the Joker teeth from the first game for those of you who don't remember. Here's one of the Titan things that we just signed up to uh, destroy with, this Titan with Bane. That I well what the? Why would you jump up there? The only way to destroy it is to use explosive gel. Explosive gel. All right, one of six. So we have five more. The rest of the Titan containers. Nice. Is it? Is it this one right here? Yes, it is. Okay. Looks like the last jammer's underground. Penguin sounded pissed. Batman's been screwing with his plans. Damn, right I've been screwing with his plans. You. Yeah. yeah, I was talking about the movies though. By the way, if you guys get the chance, I'd say I'd say go watch go watch the, the, the Batman movies from, from the eighties and the nineties. The uh the first two, Batman and Batman Returns with uh with the like the Keaton movies. With uh, Danny DeVito as the Penguin, and uh, what's his face, uh, Nicholson as the Joker, are both really good movies. Uh, the third and fourth movies, obviously with with Kilmer and Clooney as Batman, are nowhere near as good. The third one is bad, but nowhere near as bad as the fourth one, which had uh, Arnold as Mr. Freeze and Clooney as Batman. Th that movie has been memed to death, so I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking it's about, big, but, right? and look, hey, another Titan container. This... Yeah. Like I'd say if you get the chance, go watch at least the first two. The first two are good. Obviously, I'm sure most of you have seen the Bale movies, which those movies are all, or th those movies are just so fantastic, and I'm sure you guys are aware of that. But, another note, I, al I also watched, this is back on sort of the topic of Spider-Man, I also watched the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies again. And Jesus Christ, Spider-Man 1 and 2, the Sam Raimi ones, not the amazing ones, with uh, Andrew Garfield. I'm talking about the Tobey Maguire uh, ones that came out in 2002 and 2004. Spider-Man 1 and 2 are some of, like two of the best movies ever. I'm not even kidding. Those movies are so good. And I didn't remember just how good they are because I hadn't seen them in years, but... Dude... I rewatched. I've been watching a lot of superhero movies as a reason, and there are like I I think the superhero genre. I I enjoy those movies the best, just because I'm I'm a big fan of superheroes, and so there are a few that stand out to me, like Avengers One is is one of the best movies, uh or probably. See, I want to say Avengers One is the best superhero movie. But then again, Captain America uh, 2, Winter Soldier, and also uh, Civil War are both insanely good as well. There's just, I don't know, Marvel has just figured it out as of recent. And I, and I was, or maybe not even as of recent, but I was just even more, or even more realized that when I watched the, the Sam Raimi movies and and the Avengers as of recent, because i kind of been getting ready because, or re-watching a lot of them, because the new, uh, what's it called? Uh, the new Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man movie, Jesus Christ, if I can speak correctly, it's coming out that soon. Was the last jammer. I should be able to get into yeah, the Homecoming theme. comes out June 20th or some, somewhere around there. Now, 
but uh, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that movie because I really liked Tom Holland in uh, Civil War. I thought he did a really good job. So why am I diving? Don't do that. Yeah, I think Tom Holland is going to be a really good Spider-Man. It's hard to match how iconic Spider-Man 1 and 2 are, and that's something that I've been thinking about in the movies recently. Is there are movies for for certain moments and scenes and revolution nizes revolution so I don't know man I'm so tongue tied and fucking brain dead cuz I just finished up finals week but yeah like Spider-Man 1 and 2 are super good and iconic obviously the Dark Knight uh Avengers 1 and then of course there it, Marvel has its share of bad movies Iron Man 2 and 3 we're not all that great. Uh, both Thor 1 and 2 were just kind of there. Captain America 1 was alright. We'll go check that out, actually. Yeah. I realized I was talking about bad movies and I started talking about alright movies. I think Iron Man 2 is alright. I think Captain America 1 is alright. I, I think they're both fun movies. I think Iron Man 3 is bad. I think Thor is kind of bad. Actually... You know, I don't know, but point is, regardless of my wacky opinions, uh, I've been having fun watching superhero movies lately. What's going on over here? Uh... I should scan the crime scene to determine the cause of death. The victim's face has been removed and the head wrapped in bandages. There have been three murders in Gotham over the last month with the same M.O. The press have nicknamed the killer the Identity Thief. If he's now in Arkham City, I need to track him down and stop him. Oh. The attack left the victim bleeding profusely. The murderer is likely to have trace elements of the blood on them without realizing. I'll filter the scanner to track the victim's blood particles. That should lead me to the last person to see the victim alive. Maybe even the killer himself. Alright. World's greatest detective, we are following a trail. Hit again. Excuse me, fellas. I'm in the middle of some. I'm in no mood to fight. You were right. Oh. It is the bat. Why, hello there. What are you waiting for, Bat? Why did you kill him? It wasn't me. I'm not a killer. I'm a plumber, for God's sake. You've got to believe me. I don't have to believe anything. Tell me what you saw. There was this guy. He dropped the body. Nice there. jacket. Is the texture not loading looking. for his jacket? You won't believe there. Me, but, well, he looked like Bruce Wayne. What? I know. Someone must have got to him. He was covered it's in weird cuts and bruises, but I'm sure it was him. The poor guy must have had a target the size of Gotham City painted on him. Looked like he'd been attacked by pretty much everyone in Arkham. There may be more victims of the identity well, thief in Arkham City. I should look out for them. Uh, it doesn't appear to be Bruce right? Wayne because I'm Bruce Wayne. The plot thickens, am I right? I don't want to have to fucking figure that out. Can you quit talking trash, man? Should we try to figure out one of these? Oh, dude, what was that trash? Let's see if we can't figure out one of these. Well, that's not how you do it. Go up here. Hey, look at me go. Dude, I'm fucking talented. I like it. Hey there. 
swing, bitch. Yep, that's what happens. Oh. Alright, there we go. My man just got pounded. Alright. Watch this matrix What's shit. What's the bench over here? Dude. That was actually I didn't even I meant to do that, but I didn't mean to drop on him. That was actually cool. Cause I meant to swing across like Spider-Man, but I didn't mean to to land on his head. That was actually pretty sick. That was like some real Batman Batman show right there. I just gadgeted everybody. Later, dude. What a play out of Reclaimer. Holy shit, I'm back. I have a new voicemail. You have one missed call. Whew. Ring, ring. I was just remembering when it first occurred to me. It was about six months after you left me on that rooftop back at the asylum. As the bones knitted back together, I had plenty of time to think. So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? It's easy. You stick it right in front of him, right under his long, pointy nose. And wait. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Yeah, I don't mean to. I don't mean to give too much away, but that'll that'll come up a little bit later. We'll talk about. God damn it! I forgot about that thing. Oh, I want this thing. There we go. There we go. That's a jump scare, by the way, but I've played this game 20,000 times, so it doesn't scare me anymore. I ain't a bitch. Alright, come on. Did not mean to do that. I'm gonna punch this guy again. Don't have to beat him down when you got the blade dodge takedown. God, I'm telling you. Breaking the game. Love it. Get up, man. You're safe for now. Thank God. You may want to hold off on thanking him until after you've answered my question. Who are you? Sorry, man. I'm a cop. Gordon sent us in here. I'm from the 13th Precinct, part of the strike team. Been in here since the beginning. If Gordon sent you, you'll know the code. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, uh... Oh, man, what was it? The code. Now. It's Sarah. He said to tell you the code is Sarah. You're safe, officer. It's Jones, Batman. Elvis Jones. Gordon always said he planned on sending your team in. He wanted to know what was going on in here. I guess we found out. There were ten of us. Hopefully, we still are. I told Gordon it was too dangerous to send you in. Stay here. If the rest of your team is alive, I'll find them. Alright, well. As usual, the plot thickens. So, just to recap real quick. Signed up with Bane to take down Titan containers. Found a body where the face was removed and the killer appeared to be me. Which hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully I'm not going crazy and I didn't kill some other people. But yeah. Took down some Penguins Jammers. Talked about superhero movies. A lot of stuff happened. So anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Batman Arkham City. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Thank you so much for your guys' continued support. Uh, when we come back uh, the day after tomorrow, we will once again be in Penguins Museum. We will try to rescue the rest of this guy's strike team, as well as find Mr. Freeze and get the cure for our disease that ails not just me, but also the Joker and part of Gotham. So, like I said, hope you guys are enjoying. Appreciate the continued support. Like, appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later.